Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. We're gonna go chat with this Asari lady really quick. I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. Her mouth isn't no, moving! I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some just a car, I, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. Yeah. I'm on a call. Yeah, I can tell. Is that a rapid transit? I think it's supposed to be, but it's not. They decided in the end to not let you rapid transit here. Which is fine. Um, I think... Well, okay, so I think if we hack this terminal... Eclipse might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. My class um, think about anything besides breeding. <laughs> Don't even start with me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a shirt or a card. Helium. Hey, you're blue shifting already. That's funny, right? A sorry skin color and the Doppler effect. <laughs> Dad, just get her anything. Or don't. Uh -huh. I need to get her something. A memento. A memento of what? Or why? Hmm, interesting. I wonder if they like You're sure gateway weapons and armor. Oh are my gosh. Clips? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. Oh, okay, she told me what I needed to Okay, get. well, let's hope... Okay. Okay. We're gonna try this. And see how it goes. Come on, where it at? There it is. Uh, not you, not you. Oh, this is unfair! If you're not gonna show up, Jeremy! Uh... That one. Yeah, okay. I was like, I think it's that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Use the distance meter. Okay, Could use the distance. It it I have a, uh, my microphone's kind of in the way, so. Ah! Hey, we're friends. I have never called you that. Ooh. <laughs> Stupid drug users you're laughing at. I might have been one of them. Oh snap! Do I still have to hack that terminal, or do I do I start like I don't? Because they are like different. Like what? Some of them are like the flat. Oh, I missed it. Some of them are like the flat screens, and some of them are like the actual computery looking terminals. Yeah, this doesn't really seem to have, like you do it without the Shadow Broker DLC, and it's like, oh, cool. That's that's cool. Like, there's not a whole lot that happens, so I think it makes more sense. I didn't mean... Okay, look, I'll take another look. It needs to be reclassified. Ah! Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. It's not down there, is it? Oh, my gosh, where is it? Trust me, the goods coming in from the terminus systems are free. No, I haven't had any luck yet. Yes, yes, I understand. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where? They move! Oh my gosh, where is it? Oh, vulnerable system. Go, oh, dang! How many of these do I have to do? Oh yeah, and then there's that. So when she does the uh, the star charts. Hey, Shiala, while I'm here, I'll talk to you. Shepard, I... I don't suppose hey, you can Green Asari! I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. Yep. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. I can't go back and visit, I don't think. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however. Along with what was left of the Thorian. Of course. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again? Or did the Thorians somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus Hope. They actually seem to want to help of us survive. Of course, they want to have the, and the, Thorian is the dead. experiment continue. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Can I offer assistance? 
I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do this. What are you doing here on Ilium? Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures Ooh. without our consent. That's why I'm here. Why are you green? <laughs> Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My Weird. biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm Her eyes are also green having too. vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. I'm sure. I mean, it makes sense because that was such a such a total mind control thing, you know what I mean? But what kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced. I thought maybe green was Thorian something that control. happened sometimes, but it's sometimes not. the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It's interesting. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Yeah. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true. Why didn't you read the contract? We Probably desperate. because it was like the size and of a the novel. Fine print. We apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. It's nasty. It's just... Like, why would you... Why? You know? It's, why isn't Exogeny helping them out, you know? Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare uh, us in breach of contract, which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. I got you. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate I, it. I'm very intimidating looking. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. And she was saying as we passed by that there's a... There's issue because... You know, she says it's all under normal contra contraction, blur, blur. I saw your conversation, Hugh. Hey! You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Ferris. She has the most I suggest different you Asari voice ever. Your I've life heard. is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Hmm. Not so. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? <sighs> Where do I be? <laughs> this woman With Salarian is explorers bitter. unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. Mm. You know, I, I think she does have a good point, though. I don't think there's the this, the Asari are peacekeepers. They're they're diplomats, so they would not go to war unless it was absolutely necessary. And I think they often get out of war, generally. So, whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth That uprising. was a long time ago. She's an ancient Asari. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. She is old. And she has seen so much. So much personal death, especially as a medical op medical officer or a me me medical person. 
she's seen so much death and so much of sorry suffering in her day they were a little they, they kept themselves a little more isolated but things have expanded so much in the last like you know thousand years or so I mean that the, the uprising was only 300 years ago but still she's probably if not a matriarch just about there you know what I mean so she has seen centuries of sorrow in her time why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. It is. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't. I know. It's so hard to come to terms with something like this. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. I didn't get to ask her about other things. Shoot. <sighs> and I do want to I did want to ask her about the other things. <sighs> I'm going to do one of my infamous reloads now. Oh. Eh? How was that restart what mission? <laughs> Is that the... Did I, did I finish it? The terminals thing? I don't know. I'll have to look, but... We'll go to this one. Yeah, no big deal. I'll be back momentarily. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do these. We'll see. I, I don't... I've probably done them before, but I don't quite remember. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. Uh, yeah, we'll see. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy, the other was a greeter for the consort. Uh-oh. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. Okay, the I'll keep... Will never be my allies. I will keep asking questions. The best they can questions. do is give me useful medical data. I thought Asari preferred to mate with other races for genetic diversity. A short-sighted mistake perpetrated by the same self-hating malcontents <laughs> who spawned the hate Words, lady, whoa! Blood. We hardly need your alien DNA to randomize genetic material. A little radiation would work just as well. You provide no diversity, no new insights, no advancement. You bring only chaos and senseless deaths. Ah. Ah. You seem to forget that a human saved you from Saren and the Geth. The Geth created by the idiotic Quarians? That a rogue Turian Spectre led in an attack? The Geth didn't start with the Citadel. They attacked your human colony, Eden Prime, first. You humans brought the Geth upon us. You and the Turians are the Quarians. My people's deaths are on your hands. You really think this is legal? Maybe Ilium's contract analyst should look it over. You I was negotiating contracts when your ancestors were still burning witches and enslaving. Wow! We haven't lost a contract dispute in 70 years. Try me. Try me! Wow! This lady, she is just, she knows how to, she knows how to use words to her advantage. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? <sighs> Where do I? Okay. Or the Turian. Every war. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? 
the mother of my daughters was killed. Having to come to terms with I'm this hatred after so many was years. Why was your bond made on the quarry Has to be. The hatred's been holding her up all these years, from. you know? Both of them. It's kept people at a distance people. and it's kept her the up. The galaxy right, is lesser walking. for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I, I'm not. I, I didn't. This almost makes me cry every time. Like. Well, it just it brings like tears to your eyes and it makes your heart hurt because like the amount of sorrow she's had to deal with. But again, she's not the only person, who, the only Asari who's had to deal with this. She's just dealing with it how she knows, how she feels is best. Sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. And it's good to know that we can help her. Like... But even like it's just like this random side thing and I would never have interacted with her otherwise but did you get the star charts yeah I had to deal with Arinya though I feel like I need a shower what I do you like expect I need a she's a pure blood they're all like that I don't understand why it's so like it's so weird that a pure blood is something to be hated you know what I mean like it's just like I understand why theoretically but it's just so odd to me you did it I just got the revised contracts Thank you, Shepard. Like usually, You've saved most cultures are like, you know, oh, pure blood's the best. I Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Oh yes. Isn't anything ever just fixed? Only with death. <laughs> oh boy. I like that too. Both of these, I'm like, I don't know, but I, I think I, I usually go up. So. You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing what? the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Uh, what? No, thank you. Don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> Things right there. Uh, awkward. Uh, that was really awkward. That was really awkwardly handled. You know, Irinya won't even talk to the non Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. She's changed I now. She lost her daughters when the Geth attacked the Citadel. Right. I'm sure she was a pleasure to deal with before that. Maybe before uh, her freaking bondmate was killed. I love the way she describes her bondmate too, like that she is this, you know, person who is discovering, is studying Quarian music, that they had old souls, you know? I like that. I'm like looking over at the computer, I feel like, uh, uh my mic is being, hmm, okay, it was just showing some excessive noise, but not anymore. Okay, Gee, yes, let's buy all these. Buy them all, buy all the star charts. I've never bought them all before, I don't think. I have like no money. Look at those, those so pretty. They're so pretty. She's the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure blood Asari left in a few generations. I feel kind of sad for her. Don't. I heard she married an Asari herself, had pure blood kids. She's part of the problem. What problem? There's no problem. They turn out exactly the same as the rest of you. You wouldn't even know they were a pure blood unless somebody told you. Doesn't make sense. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem or did she kill somebody already? <laughs> Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on oh, that balcony okay. will summon a cab. Okay. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human... Do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religion. <laughs> it's a big diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Tell me about the Justicars. 
They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they always they encounter, stop. which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. It's interesting um, that... Um, like, uh, the Asari that you meet are all, like, they have the greatest respect for her, but they're all, like, modern Asari, and they're like, oh, crap! Like, they're used to dealing with her in their terms, but they know that things can go horribly wrong if she gets in an international incident, you know? But I feel like if a Justicar got involved in something, the Alliance would have to take her word for it, you know? Because... The Asari are powerful people. And they basically run everything. <laughs> like, they would at least be able to know, like, hey, yeah, he did something bad, you know, but I don't know. It's it's interesting. I mean, but probably they wouldn't. You're right. There would be an incident. There would be a big incident. And then, and then the code would just act. Oh, my gosh. It would be horrible. Spectres are authorized by the council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like... I don't know a good human metaphor. Huh. They represent their code. Our code. <laughs> it's closer our to code. a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. There's such awe for Justicars in, in her voice, you know? Is Samara really that dangerous? My eyes kind of blue. If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear. And a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Woohoo! I'm looking for Samara. Oh, whoa! Like I said, she's at the... Okay. You can hail a cab at the pedestal okay, on the balcony over Thanks there. Thanks for your help. Good luck with the Justicar. Try not to piss her off. <laughs> Please. How much? Yeah, yeah. I got that. I got this. All right, we're not going to start that just yet. I am going to shoot you. Hey, shoot, shoot. I, don't like I can't. Either, I can't shoot. That's going a little far. It's true, though. In a way. You only get Ardat Yakshi from a pure blood pairing. Um, so I guess we could go... For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes the permanent... Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's Galactic News. Right here? Okay. I will finish this up. Ah, ah, ah. Come on. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. Show me the money. Oh my gosh! Ah! Okay, uh, over here? It's just, we're looking for weapons. It, it, no? Oh, here, okay. Your first mate, your father. Shepard, this is Leon. Oh! I've got the data. Shoot! Come see me when you've got a moment. Not a fish, something that'll last. You'll make sure she keeps it. Yeah. I'll make sure. How about this one? When anything goes, it goes to Ilium. That's kind of funny. Mom will love it. Oh, she was like about to cry there. You could hear it. I missed part of it though. I wonder if we can come back and and the hear it. This might be fun for you. For e me, e it's e the let's see, let's see, let's see. What about a fish? Okay, okay, she okay. She loves the garden. We could add a pond. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good Whoop. enough for Eclipse? I'm just gonna yeah. keep walking Maybe back. Maybe a along. shirt or a card. This is way easier than you? having to leave the area. Try and make it as her first mate. Your father? Oh! He got her things when he traveled. It's not a competition, Dad. You don't even really remember him. And she found me after he died. And I'm almost 35. Hey, I remember him. And I want to remember you. That's why I came on this trip. <laughs> It's just so it was like we had like two conversations. Not a fish, something that'll last. You'll make sure she keeps it. Yeah, I'll make sure. How about this one? When anything goes, it goes to Ilium. That's kind of funny. Mom will love it. That's sweet. 
That is so sweet. I man, for an Asari to bond mate with a Salarian though, like, like wow. The, I mean, for for uh, such a long-lived race, you like, sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a they <laughs> the Salarians are the shortest-lived race, you know. Oh my god. Okay, hey, the the freaking the the, for the Salarians are such a short-lived race. Like they're lucky if they make it to fifty. Like I wonder if her dad was at, well, she called him dad, and that's so sweet. But maybe he helped raise her. I don't know. She would. They mature slower than humans do, but I think their body grow. They're kind of the same, you know. Like they kind of grow. Like they don't stay babies for a year, you know, or like you know, ten years or something, you know. I don't think. But. Maybe he helped raise her, and her dad was a Sol her or her dad, other dad was a Solarian. But that's so sweet that she calls him dad too. I mean, she must, he must have raised her, and she's ba he's basically the only one she can remember very well, and that's why she calls him dad. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Because I don't think you have this option. Maybe you do. I don't, I don't know. Um... I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't risk handling this in person. Okay. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Okay. Oh. So we can keep going on that. All right. Are you okay? Help Liara later. But I did that. Oh, but I did. Yeah, I did that. Oh. Uh, I I can do it right here. Um, maybe I should do this before I go get, um, before I go get the la, 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 Samara. Did I miss it? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, we are That's from the Tarzan movie. Watcher Trader has requested no further contact with the Salarian. Salarian is becoming more trouble than he is worth. Observer recommends a kill, but she may have a grudge. Alright, hang on. This is going to be one of those puzzle thingies. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm not sure if it's a word puzzle. Actually, now that I'm looking at the buttons, it says call Liara, so... Shepard, did you get any information on the Observer? Oh, God, not yet. Oh, man. Let me search for more data. I'll get back to you. Thank you. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Where, wait, here? Oh boy. Don't mind me, I'll just hack right here. So much hacking. So much hacking. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Turian contact working well with the trader. Observer has rescinded kill order against him, given difficulty in securing contact with the trader through other methods. So I have the notes. The Vorture trader to request no contact with Solarian. Observer says to kill the Solarian, who is a boy. Uh, but she, the Observer is a female, and she may have a grudge. But the Turian... is working... well with trader... Uh, observer rescinded kill order since trader is difficult to get a hold of. Okay. Oh, so I can exit. Alright, I can just exit. Alright. Did I see another one? How can you short sell on pre for these human colony attacks? Papa! They're going to get a ton of business. Bam! Bam! Followed by a freeze as new colony plants dry up. Just one. Sell! Sell! Uh, somebody tried to kill the Batarian, claims it was because he ate slavers, but the men were more likely fighting over money. Watch for now. Okay. Trader. The Vorcha tried to kill the Tarian. The is this yeah the Vorcha trader yeah the Vorcha tried to kill the Batarian because he hates slavers. That doesn't seem like a Vorcha thing to do. And they're both boys. Boy. Er, men. Boy. Uh. Anything. Okay. There's. I would kind of assume. There we go. Run away. I don't really understand what he's doing. Uh. Do you have hack. Or is it hacky, 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 hack? I want something that says. Ha oh, right there. That's hard to see. Yeah, please just let me listen to these conversations over and over again. The Turian's asking too many questions. Observer recommends terminating him and framing assassin or Solarian contact. 
Oh, okay. Because uh, she didn't like the Salarian. Turian, too many questions. Observer says kill him frame Salarian or assassin. Yeah. Okay, so we just need one more. I, I kind of am assuming it would be down here. It's just there's so many things that pop up when you when you're looking around, you know. Do I have to look at her? What the was that? Tired of training employees only to lose them to your competitors. Uh, Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a size of I don't trust you! She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Well, where's the lat? Can I? Uh, it's not telling me where. The on has been the has that the I have one, two. I mean, it says I have four, but three, four. Do I have to go. Oh, sorry, Jack. They should be prohibited from breeding. What was your father again? Salarian. Oh. So, you probably never really got to know him, did you? Shut up. You got the damn star charts? Let's go. Oh, she got daddy issues. That would be... That would be something to take into account, trying to take a Salarian bond mate, is that... Sometimes you say these things and... And, like, your child wouldn't get to know her father, really, you know? Stars, your skin looks amazing. You're not using... There's supposed to be another one next to the Eternity Bar. Do I have to... Nope, that's the Eternity Bar. I don't... Or is it... Is it in here? I don't want to start something else. Oh, it is in here. You're really holding out on me? I'm a man on the edge. I'm a man on the edge. All right, I'll have to take care of that guy now. I'll go all the way without a second thought. Oh, whoopsie. Not distracted by that stupid guy in the background. Smuggler and assassin have refused to work with the Vorta due to a lack of trust. Odyssey scruples from the men at this point. So who's doing these? Is like somebody else besides the observer writing this information down? Okay. So the smuggler and the assassin are me and the uh And the traitor are men. And the traitor is a Vorcha. I haven't seen anything about the Krogan. Oh, who was it? It was a. Uh, okay, well, there was a Krogan, Vorcha, Turian. Okay. And the Batarian's a man. So they can frame the assassin of Salarian because they have refused to work together with the Vorcha guy. But the Turian is working well. 
Oh, well, I think obviously this is gonna be... If, I guess if the observer is referring to these other people like this, that, that, that the, the observer... Did you get any information on the observer? The observer has to be the Krogan, then. Because these other ones are all referred to by the observer, right? Um... I didn't save! Hopefully it's the Krogan! Uh, I feel like it should be more complicated than that, but maybe it isn't. Take down the Krogan. Thank you, Shepard. I'll make the call now. My people are moving into position. I'll have news for you the next time you drop by. Yay! What else is it gonna say? Ah, I got plus two par- How did I get plus two paragon? Oh, I gotta punch this guy. Conrad! Oh my gosh! see how far I'll go. I learned how to take that armor off faces from Commander Shepard. I hey, told you to go if you home know this idiot. Can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard, is it really you? It's me, Conrad Burns. I thought you were gonna we go home, man. I wanted to become a specter. Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face. No, I you didn't. What it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson. I didn't go renegade on life, him. Huh? I went Paragon. Goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. <laughs> Hit him, shove his foot for crying out loud. Conrad, why are you acting like me? What are you crazy? He's not I'm like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. I'm on my Take own off that N7 armor. Nerves. No rules. No laws. Just whatever it takes to get the job done. I'm not like you at all. Yeah. How'd you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Oh my god. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive. But my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off world. You're insane. <laughs> Sorry back there is like, oh my gosh. Oh god. So you just wander the galaxy writing wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, for extra credits. Oh my gosh. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? <laughs> I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't oh have my gosh. Training. What do you. You don't just you run around it. in the N7 killer. armor. I did you not! And showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy. He's the insane! Galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it oh when I Oh my gosh. Myself. He Listen, is just... crap for yeah. brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. That woman sounds like she has been smoking red sand since she was like a baby. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. I should have kicked him in the. I should have kicked him as soon as I saw him. You can't run around. You take Good that armor off. The weapons merchant. Remember. Oh, dang. I went Paragon on purpose. I went Paragon on him on purpose. Why did it not save correctly? That's so weird. This is the first time I've seen that, by the way, because last time I just didn't bother with him at all. My gosh. Uh, I'm looking for the best. This is gonna bother me. 
I wonder if that's a frequent thing. If it if it saves like that. Carport, carport, carport. Or oh wait. Uh I might actually uh Oh, you know what? I bet you it was that Asari who was standing there. Oh oh no, we need to keep going this way. We do need to keep going this way. The Asari who was um just standing there maybe, who I could hear talking on the phone. I thought she was part of a different quest, but she might also be part of this Are one. She probably wasn't an undercover cop. She's probably just trying to get, like, drug stuff moved through quicker. I don't know. Hey, we're friends. I have never Let's see. I'm telling you, relax. Oh, Bex will never notice a few missing pieces. No, wait, wait, I can't wait. get in. See, no, I don't want to call the cab. Down. The clips, marks, some just a car. I don't know. Where did he say it was by? Door, officer, weapons merchant. It's not Officer Dara, because she's not undercover. She's very obviously an officer. Asari's weapons merchant. I was wondering if it was her. That's why you can talk to her, I guess. This might be fun for you. Can I help you with something? I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place <laughs> is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Uh huh. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to uh stop the red sand dealers. Ooh, uh... I kind of would rather do that, but... Lie, I'll help you. What's that gonna do? I'm curious. I look kind of evil, though. I kind of want to say that, too. I don't want to say that. Oh, we'll figure I this out. I softened up the bar owner, but you need to go in and finish them off. Really? Are you sure? Absolutely. You just need to close the deal. Go in, be tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. Wow, great. Here, I'll set you up for a discount. Oh, boy! Thanks for the help. Okay. Now we're just running all over the place. I didn't mean. Okay, look, I'll take another look. At this is so weird. I've never done this before. I really want to punch him, though. He needs to take that armor off. It's not okay. You get you get that only through like. Oh, the training that you have to go through, the mental and physical training you have to go through to get the N7 armor is nothing to shake a stick at. Like, it is a top tier Alliance special operative. Like, you can't just, he's, 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 he's smirching the name of the Alliance, he's, do, he's messing with me, the other N7 operatives, like, he's, he's making our job just that much more difficult because He's also just being a petty thief in some ways, and he's an idiot. He's an idiot. And I paragoned him. I told him to go home and be with his wife. I did not stick a gun in his face. I don't know what he's talking about. I, like, paragoned him so hard because I was like, just chill out, man. Go home. Damn it, this is just a misunderstanding. Tell it to the judge. My surveillance vids caught your extortion attempt from four different angles. <laughs> I was misled. I was told that you had agreed to sell. Take her away before I have my bartender throw her out. Who would do it but damage the bar? Hee hee hee! That's some cool armor. Okay. What happened? For him. The undercover cop from the weapons kiosk just got arrested. It was a sting? I'm gonna say she was a fake. I don't want to paragon it. I don't. I don't want to lie to him. Uh, she was a fake too, man. She wasn't a cop. She was using you to try to take over this bar. What? No. But but she said. But she was pretty and blue. 
She wanted to get coffee. Oh my gosh. And she smiled when she he said needs to coffee. go to like I'm pretty sure it was a euphemism. Oh my gosh. I screwed gosh. this up, didn't I? I screw everything up. Damn it, I'm so stupid. Who was I to think I could do what you do? Yep, you screwed up. I need more renegade to do this, apparently. Yeah, you screwed up, man. I don't know. Goodbye, Conrad. No, no, I'll show you. You'll see. I'll make a difference. I'll be somebody. Somebody like you. Oh, dang. I did not handle that well. Oh. I don't know. Okay, I'm I'm gonna call this one here. I don't know how long it's gonna be, but um, we'll see. We'll see how I guess. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I guess I did that, but that totally messes everything up because I didn't do the renegade actions. I did Paragon in Mass Effect One, and I thought he wouldn't be a problem anymore, and I didn't get him out of the Dingnab armor. So I don't know. I might have to go back and redo that, but we'll see. Uh, for now, I'll just. Save, I guess. Yeah. But. I didn't realize that that was gonna be such a big deal. But maybe I'd have to wait to do that until I get more Renegade and just kick him out on his keister. But. Anyway. Thank you guys for joining me. It's been just kind of trying to get a bunch of stuff done on Ilium late. Just in the last little bit. So. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I will see you in the next one.